everywhere you look, it's clear change is in the air. This is the CBS Evening News. With Katie Couric. Hi, John. America's sweetheart you? is about to become I America's know, first woman to solo very anchor very a network very evening very newscast. Very it's a huge honor to have this opportunity that the uh, folks at CBS have put their faith in me. Couric's turn here at CBS comes after nearly 15 years at the helm of the Today Show. She jokes about her prominent <laughs> new role. Wait, cue Helen Reddy, please. <laughs> But she also says it's an awesome honor and a privilege. Well, I think that the people who are on television and in our mass media should be a reflection of the people in our society. There should be much more diversity on television, quite frankly. Couric and the evening news team are hoping to deliver an inspiring newscast, but they also promise it will be different than the newscasts we're used to. I hope that what what Katie's Evening News will do is invite viewers to spend a really interesting, lively, um, sometimes controversial, um, sometimes really positive and prescriptive, sometimes entertaining, sometimes humorous, sometimes quirky, 30 minutes every night. I think we want to make it more accessible and a little more casual, and that doesn't mean sloppy, but a little more conversational. The way that we talk and to really communicate with people by distilling complicated things. I want to really break down a story so people can understand it, and that's our goal. The change won't be shocking, more like a continuation of what current anchor Bob Schieffer has already started. The news is about getting the information that people need to know and getting it out there and getting it as quickly as you can and telling it in as simple a way as you can so they'll understand. We've been putting on a pretty darn good newscast over the last year and a half and I think we did that. And I think now we've gotten this train back up on the tracks, we've got it running in the right direction. So does Bob have any advice for Katie? Katie doesn't need any advice from me, number one. Katie is a true professional. She is my friend. She is going to do just fine. Bob Schieffer has done a tremendous job, as you know. I think I've never met someone who is so gracious or well-liked. I wish he was a little less liked. Actually, I'm kidding, but those are big wing tips to fill. There's a lot of camaraderie around here right now, like this passing of the torch was meant to be. But the change has been well orchestrated, literally. There's new music and a brand new set. The, the show is set on Katie. But the set basically is something that will give her an opportunity to communicate. And that's really what we want to do, is put some, a format for her to, to communicate with the audience. I feel that we've got a great orchestra, and I'm simply the conductor. And it's really the entire news division that is behind an effort to revitalize, I think, and slightly tinker with the evening news. I hope people understand that the first show is not going to be revolutionary. It's not going to be like, whoa, have to, what, what are they doing? It, it will be nuanced changes. Changes we're all excited to see. In New York, Dana Tyler for CBS News.